Uh, my name is Maithli Prakash. I am a practitioner of the form Bharatanatyam, and I am the choreographer of She's Auspicious. So this piece actually came from a place of questioning, a questioning of the myths that we'd grown up with, the way femininity is expressed in those myths, because my mom's always been like an advocate of expressing things from the female point of view in her dance work, portraying the goddess in a very like empowered way, which she is in her literature. But I think what we ignore is like a lot of the patriarchal undercurrents. I became really aware of the relationship between the art form I practice and the world that we live in, including these cultural myths that we've grown up with. But now it became connected to like my role in society, my role as a mom, the way I express femininity, my body, the way I dance, like a certain sense of beauty and refinement that's characteristic of the art form. And I think that that's, that was like the starting point of this piece. And so this piece, it was kind of like a study. It felt less like making a piece and more like investigating certain things. And a lot of it includes pushing a certain threshold. In Bharatanatyam, you mask your sweat, you mask your being out of breath, you mask your like, if there's any kind of discomfort, you mask it because everything's beautiful and harmonious. And so in this, it's, it's a little bit about, wait, wait, let's like look at that and see why that is. And is there a violence? Is there an ugliness? Is there a contradiction that is uncomfortable? And can we like sit with that and like kind of linger in that? The instrument I play, it's called the mridangam. It's a very male-dominated instrument in India. Immediately when she told me about what the piece was about in terms of like different identities with femininity and everything, I was like, oh my gosh, yes, I have so many stories about it. The other really important part of this process, even though he's only come like these last two days, is my rehearsal director, Sam. It was really interesting to see what stuck out, what stuck with him, where he had questions. I'm coming in in a unique position of not knowing much and then responding to what I see in the room. To be a dramaturg for her, she has such expressivity in her eyes and there's such narrative storytelling going on. And I think as the Western layperson audience, they're not picking up on all of these extremely detailed gestures that have histories and lineage. What I do think is clear from the way Maithili performs is this emotional arc and sort of a mercurial way she's able to switch back and forth between characters and eventually land in moments where you feel the history of the last 15 minutes of her performance in this one gesture and it's all there with her. And I think is doing something where she doesn't want it to feel like a classical proscenium performance where like there's an orchestra pit and they are removed from the action, they're seen, they're walking around, they're doing things, they're using props, they are part of the world. Yeah, it's a unique experience. She takes from each one of us. She's so open to other people's ideas and insights and coming here together and being able to do this together and have this experience where we can all learn from each other has been so beautiful. It really makes me very excited to see what the future holds for this piece, for Maithili's work, and you know, our journeys and how they kind of collide again. If we continue to perform it, like the piece will change, you know, because it's so much about my personal experience. And so I'd love to travel through India and like find out all of these stories that exist through so many different cultures that are passed down through oral tradition and just see how like those stories can be incorporated. Cultural myths really stay with us and they really shape how you see yourself and like how you see yourself in society. I think it would just 
add a lot more heterogeneity to like the way we perceive femininity and then continuously see how that feeds back into She's Auspicious. I'm, I'm curious to see how it develops over the next few years. Thank you.